What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision. Today we're talking about more monoculars. With so many good monocular options on the market, all of them have their advantages, but do any of them address this issue? Today we're talking about the AB Night Vision RVM14. But before we get into that, I want to talk about today's sponsor. Sibian. Sibian has been discreetly shipping their devices all over the United States for over 30 years. We don't, we don't have a sponsor for this channel. What are you talking about? There's no sponsor. So I don't know where that box came from. What do you, who, why is this here? That's a great question. So you're telling, who ordered a Sibian? Excuse me, there seems to be some confusion on the origin of a package that was delivered here. If one of our fine viewers took it upon themselves to send this to us, uh, we appreciate it, but no thank you. Okay, on to the RVM14. These guys right here. So, this is another monocular option uh, brought to you by AB Night Vision. We have these in stock currently. Uh, just like any of our other options, you can get them outfitted with whatever tube or whatever optic you want. It is formatted for 11769. Um, that's not to say you can't put a 10160 tube in it. In layman's terms, you can use manual gain or um, not use manual gain. It's just up to you depending on what tube you select. Um, but let me go through the features give you a little rundown so the rvm14 comes with two different mounting options you've got the quarter 20 thread right here um, to interface with the standard uh, mil spec style j arms or bridges whatever's out there on the market you know that you already have and then directly i'd say 90 degrees from that there is a proprietary dovetail rail right here and this serves to interface with the rvm14 bridge so these slide on here like this. It's a tight fit, forgive me. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. So this slides on this bridge here. You can put two of them on it. I think they make a J arm that operates the same way, but it, it essentially gives you a very um, down and dirty articulating bridge option to run two RVM14s. So you have binoculars or you can break these up and you know share them with a buddy or whatever you know, people say they're gonna do that they never actually do, um, like that. So that's cool. Uh, the operation of this device is done via a rotary switch. So rather than have two different knobs, like on a standard PVS-14, we've got one knob that operates both the on and off functionality as well as the manual gain. It has the rheostat or whatever inside this power supply. So that's pretty neat. We've eliminated another potential point of failure by putting it all into uh, one apparatus, if you will. Um, this housing does have an onboard IR illuminator. It is actuated or operated with this push button right here. It's got a, a auditory click to let you know that you've engaged it. It also has some aluminum gating around it so you don't have uh, inadvertent uh, negligent discharges of your IR illuminator, so that's cool. Inside the device, you have a low battery indicator light pipe that's going to tell you both whether or not your IR illuminator is on as well as uh, if your battery is starting to die. So that's cool. Um, some other monocular options on the market forego this feature, but it is nice to have. Um, what else do I need to address here? Um, let's weigh them. So both of these units are outfitted with L3 filmless tubes. Uh, one has Carson Industries mil spec glass or whatever they're calling themselves now. Fully outfitted with no battery, 297 grams. Um, this one, again, L3 Filmless. It has RPO optics on it. Uh, no battery. 243 grams. So a very lightweight monocular. 
Approximate battery life on this device is 75 hours. I don't know if that means anything to you, but over a standard uh, Carson PVS 14 housing with a single AA power supply, it offers a 15% weight savings and a 15, 50, excuse me, 50 percent increase in battery life so that's pretty incredible um, I don't know if I mentioned but it is machined 7075 aluminum I probably should have said that at the beginning so it's very robust and durable um, not to say the other housings aren't very durable but this one's going to be more durable it comes with the standard AB night vision five-year warranty on uh, park parts and workmanship so if you have any issues with it obviously you're going to be taken care of you know for a, a good chunk of the life of the device uh, we've been using these for some time i actually put this one together to mess around with it uh, in our film rig to see if i like it you know any better than a fort uh excuse me the tonto that we have been using uh, we've never really messed around with adjusting the manual gain when we're filming so that's something i plan on doing in the future probably later this week when we film the wilcox raid XE video. Uh, I will be using one of these to film all that uh, night vision footage, but for the most part, I really like it. The build quality is very good. As always, the Cerakoting on it is top notch. The way it goes together is very nice. All the circuitry inside of the power supply looks, uh, again, top notch. I have nothing bad to say about it. All the machining from AB has always been uh, very high quality. If you know anything about CNC machining or, you know, how threads are cut on these things, a lot of people can cut corners in these departments and they really don't. They seem to work with all the different lens systems that we sell. Great monocular option. Again, available now on customnightvision.com. If you have any questions about these devices or the different accessories that uh, work with them, feel free to give us a call. Our number's on a website. The phone rings 24-7. Somebody might answer. <laughs> so just give us a call or you can send us an email or reach out to us on any of our social medias. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate that. It helps us bring you more cool videos like this. Get down in the comments, start an argument. We like that too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.